You are about to learn a number of ways to score a corner in every match in FIFA 23. My name is Bramsey and as always I respond to all my subscribers so I look forward to seeing your comments and questions down below. Let's get you set up. Okie dokie, so what we're going to do is jump into your custom tactics and change corners to a number of two. You'll notice I do these with all my tactics, there's plenty on the channel to get stuck into. So we're going to dive into some routines now and the reason I'm giving you more than one routine, not just because I'm a nice person, but it's because all the best players have one thing in common and that's unpredictability. If your opponent doesn't know which corner routine you're going to do each time, you've got more chance of scoring one or more goals in each game. So let's dive into some now. So the first thing that you want to do when the ball goes out of play is hit R1 on PlayStation or RB on Xbox, which will call the player short, ready for the corner routine. So we're going to play a short pass and then cut towards the byline with the secondary player. Once you've done this, you want to load up across either to the penalty area or to the back post with pretty much maximum power on your player. Because we've used the number two for the corner routine, you'll have both of your centre backs plus your next tallest player in the penalty area ready to attack this cross. Honestly, while ever your opponent's not marking this routine, you can pretty much score it again and again. It's no fluke, you can see on the screen the amount of times that I've used this to good effect. One thing I will say is you need to be careful where you aim this cross because sometimes it can go straight into the goalkeeper's hand, so it's worthwhile practicing this on the training pitch. Another useful technique is to pretend that you're going outside and then cut back to the byline to throw off your opponent and give you more time to load up that cross. One final change you can make is hold the L2 button to do an outside of the foot cross which slightly changes the trajectory and power. The end result though is still the same. Right then, for the second routine, we're going to call the player short again, but this time we're not going to use them. Instead, we're going to drive it direct to the front post. So this may sound a little complicated at first, but believe me, it is not. You will get it soon enough, and when you do, you'll be smashing goals in from everywhere. So firstly, with an in-swinger, you want to aim the ball just outside of the six-yard box. Tap the right analogue stick upwards slightly just to lower the trajectory. Now hit the L1 or LB button, to select one of the players in the box. Load up the corner around three bars of power, and then when you're ready, just bring that player to the near post and deliver the corner. This will laser the corner straight onto their head. Even if a player is marking it, it will favor your player. Again, as you can see in these demonstrations, this is absolutely not a fluke. You can aim even further outside of the six yard box if you want. The result is still the same. Of course, this will take a little bit more practice for this one, but once you've got it nailed down, it is superb. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right. The right then, the final corner routine, and this one we're not calling anyone short. This is just to mix it up to keep our opponent guessing. When you get the corner, you're going to aim to outside the box and deliver a pass immediately to the player stood outside. Now from here, you can do a number of things. You can either run and shoot, you can pass to the edge of the box, or you can cross it to the back post. In this particular example, we work our way into the box and win ourselves a nice penalty kick. My suggestion is to alternate between these three corner routines to keep your opponent guessing and get yourself some more goals from set pieces. Please do give this a thumbs up if you found it useful and remember you'll find plenty of tips on this channel so I look forward to seeing you in the next video.